the, the floorboards creaked and then it just went past us and like a cold there went past yeah. us and I went, Are you, am I sitting on your chair? And then the door banged again. Yeah, Hotel in Almov, believed to be one of the most haunted hotels in the UK, with not just one haunted room but supposedly several. Throughout the years, the Soul Coach Inn has seen many faces stay in the night, including Charles Dickens and King George III. But on a darker side, this tavern has also seen a collection of suicides, murders, and even a family massacre supposed to have taken place in room 28. There is also supposed to be the presence of a soldier walking the corridors along with a maid who allegedly haunts the stairs. With all this alleged activity we couldn't wait to start our investigation. We teamed up with spiritualist medium Ray Boker and John Cossey and we began our investigation in room 16. If you want to do the last bed, by all means. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. in heaven. <laughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You're right, Kelly. Yeah. <coughs> Legs there. It's very brief. Yeah, I've had that for quite a while. Psychic web. I had, um, we had that in a corridor, didn't we? It's psychic web, and it's like the feeling of a cobweb brushing across your face from seemingly nowhere is believed by some to be the touch of a spirit. This is known as the cobweb effect. Somebody with big feet just walked in the room. I mean, big feet. Talking size. We're talking about size 11, 12, 13, that sort of thing. Who else called? I'm bearing up, especially the moonlight out. I can feel the cold around me, but I'm perfectly warm. No, my full warm. body's freezing. Well, he doesn't like you. No, he doesn't. You know, he doesn't like you. Not because of who you are, because yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's making you burn up. No, I'm a full body. It's, it's, with him, it's something religious. Yeah. I've just got the urge to stand up and shout to heathens. <laughs> we decided to take away the temptation for John to shout at the group. We decided to split into two teams. Kelly and Ray set off to room 5, while Stuart, John, and myself took on room 23. There is someone in here with us. Can you make yourself known to us? Let's give us a little tap or something. It was a cold breeze. If you're here with 
us, madam. Could you let us know, please? We decided to try the corridor where earlier both Stuart and myself felt a very shortness of breath and very lightheaded. Are there any spirits or astral beings with us in this corridor, in this space where we are? Can you make yourself known please? Can you make a sound for us? Um, well, like a hypodermic needle getting shoved through my eye, through the back of my head. <laughs> I can't really explain it better than that. Because it didn't feel like heavy or thick. Like a sharp shooting thing trying to bump straight through. Stuart felt what he described as a hypodermic needle. This does fall in line as a hotel did serve as a hospital during the war. As Ray and Kelly were conducting a vigil in room 5, they were disturbed by some of the residents of the hotel who experienced a black figure following them down the corridor and then running into room 6. It's so weird because it was just outside of here that we had the... We was on this corridor, I sat on the chair in the corridor and the door went twice behind us and we, like, as you do, nervous laughter. And then the door, the floorboards creaked and then it just went past us what? and like the cold there went past yeah. us. And I went, Are you, am I sitting on your chair? And then the door banged again, didn't it? It's like... But I think it's next door. I was well, okay. We think so. You said room yeah. six, didn't you? We were sitting outside, you were like doing that. Well, should, we all, should we all go to room six while we've got these people here? See as they've had the experience with them. Does that okay with everybody? Bethany, do you think it's room six? I think that it was the corridor that just made me feel the most like something was happening. We were attracted to room six. The residents then followed Kelly and Ray as they took their investigation into room six.